Hi, back from Football Blitz at Kodun K. And today I'm boxing the brand new white, black, vault, Mercurial Superfly by Nike Football. Let's get the boots out of the box and the box out of the way. So this new colorway reveals a predominantly white design, which reminds us of the brand's Shine Through pack launched back in 2014, which featured four white designs. Additional touches of black, headline dynamic fit collar, branding laces, and sole. A modern rainbow gradient design containing vault yellow, solar orange, and hyper pink headlines define it from heel to toe, while a transparent Nike skin layer is added on top. So I'll bring the book closer so we have a closer look at this design. So as you can see, you can see this vault yellow, solar orange, and hyper pink underneath as the fly at base. On top of that, we've got a sort of transparent white Nike skin layer. And yeah, so it is transparent, it's not completely white. You can see the rainbow effect coming through there. Dynamic foot collar is black as well as on top here. As you can see, it sort of cuts off on the lacing region. Laces are black. Vault yellow on the tip of dynamic foot collar and vault yellow in between, as you can see in the middle there. On the seam is white with mercurial branding, branding in black. The sole is all black with that carbon fiber, really transparent studs, really looks sharp. Vault yellow studs and a vault yellow swoosh logo on the sole. So overall, a very modern and classic design in one, which I'm definitely a big fan of. Surprisingly, this is the 22nd General Lee Superfly launched by Nike since its debut in mid-2014. Have you owned a pair of Superflies? Please vote in our poll card now. So explosive speed and acceleration is what these boots are designed for, and you should expect some of the biggest names in football to headline this colorway in the coming weeks, including Alessio Sanchez, Arturo Vidal, and Kevin De Bruyne. The most noticeable feature to the Mercurial Superfly is of course the dynamic fit collar, which is made up of a woven material dubbed Flyknit. The collar is designed to lock down your foot into the shoe for a sock like feel and fit, which thus offers more responsiveness. Fit wise, the Superfly is renowned for fitting narrow, but this does not mean wide foot footballers won't fit this boot. Going half a size down from your usual size would be the way to go if you wanted a perfect fit. So the flyknit material spans from heel to toe of the boot and is arguably one of the softest materials on the market, similar to what is seen on the Magista Obra by Nike Football. So it's very sort of seamless, very soft, same sort of softness throughout the entire boot, a very sort of comfortable barefoot feel you get in these boots. An additional super thin synthetic layer dubbed Nike Skin is added on top of the flyknit as I mentioned before, for extra durability and touch. The woven material actually has a bit of texture to it to help con with control at high speeds. So I'll bring it closer, so this is super thin synthetic layer, sort of transparent, is added on top of this flyknit, which is that rainbow design. It's just gonna waterproof the upper, make sure the upper is gonna last the distance. So like what is seen in the new Phantom 2 boot, Brio cables merge in with the lasers to lock down your foot into the shoe, again enhancing that responsive feeling for quarter acceleration and traction. So as you can see, the Brio cables merge in with the lasers on both sides of the boot, really locking down that midfoot. It's one of the most responsive boots on the market. ACC is used on this boot for a consistent touch in wet and dry conditions. Whether it actually enhances performance is really up to you to decide, but I'm not convinced. Featured on previous Mercurial generations is the carbon fiber plate, which is one of the most responsive and lightweight soles on the market. It delivers explosive speed in all directions, while the vapor traction pattern uses direct inject blades which dig into the ground at high velocities for instant acceleration. It's one of the most aggressive, aggressive sole plates you'll see on the market. The blades are very thin and narrow, as I'll just bring it closer. Got that vapor traction pattern, that rotational traction on the tip of the forefoot here on the toe box. And just really sort of aggressive, thin blades. On the heel, we've got four. And on the forefoot, we've got three in that rotational traction system and another four there. And it sort of works in a way just to really offer really sort of aggressive acceleration. Brio cables, thin and fit collar, all work together to make this boot very, very responsive. With the European Championship and Copa America headline the 2016 calendar year, we should see something big by Nike in the near future. We could potentially see some of the biggest names in world football headline a new generation of the speed boot. We have seen we have seen 22 general release colorways for the Superfly 4. It was released in mid-2014 for the 2014 World Cup. Now the 2016 Euros are along. Nike tend to release new generations every two years, so expect a new generation. It's likely there will be one. So my first impressions of this boot are very good for this edition of the Superfly. I'm a big fan of the design. It combines the benefits of classic and modern design in one. The dynamic fit collar, again, is not really a feature which will be liked by everyone. And the Brio cables and carbon fiber sole work together to grow a very responsive fit and feel. A very aggressive and responsive range by the big swoosh, as you may be aware. So yes, it fits narrow, but it still does fit wide-footed footballers. Being one of the most popular pro-level ranges of all time, I highly recommend this boot to anyone who likes a barefoot feel with weight and comfort in mind. 
Of course, there's always the low cut Vapor 10 available for more traditional fit around the ankle. So the one thing I would change is move the collar seam from the back of the ankle to the side to avoid any blisses on the Achilles region. Apart from that, it's almost the perfect range. So I'll just bring in the Home Driven Phantom 2. So the seam was on the back here, but they've moved it to the side and it really is, it's not going to cut into your angle at all. You're not going to get any blisses in the high fin range, but on the Superfly, it's the same with the Obra. Blisters sort of actually occur in this region because it's quite stiff and it's quite a rigid sort of feeling you get in the angle of these boots. So that is our unboxing of the new white multicolor Superfly 4 boots. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and as always, We'll see you next time.